Boy and his dogs here playing Armored Hunter Gunhound X. We're gonna go through the first mission today. Alright. There's a few basic controls that we have to get used to, which I'll go over once we get started. Alright, mission briefing. We're in the Chimera Forest. Right an enemy <clears throat> ultra, ultra, ultra fuel plant that is producing large quantities of neutron polymer fuel. This ultra fuel powers the neutron polymer cannon of the EAU forces landship, the weapon which single handedly turned the tide of war against us. The NEU's bases continue to fall one by one to this massive mobile fortress. We cannot idly stand by any longer. However, neutron polymer fuel degrades rapidly after production, and there is no known method for long term storage. Because of this, it seems the land ship must routinely refuel. Your mission objective is to raid the next supply of neutron polymer fuel at the refinery and prevent the land ship from refueling. We'll use the Griffin heavy tank to blast through the plant's defense and destroy the operating refinery. Type 80 armored hunter walkers will be committed to escort the Griffin and capture any refined ultra fuel. 9th armored hunter squadron gunhound, you have your orders. Alright. Headman. Updating battlefield situation. Type 80 squadrons, check your consoles and confirm positions. Roger that, Sophia. Hound 2, in position. Hound 3, kid in position. Am I bringing up the rear again? This is Hound Leader, all green. Let's get down to business. Listen up. The mission is to secure fuel stores inside the plant. Griffin's big guns will open the door for us. Griffin? Don't tell me I've got to escort that rolling junkyard. Sharp as always, kid. You hang back and babysit Big Bird. Jilly, take point in Hound 2 and sweep for advanced forces. They'll be sitting ducks. Too easy, Commander. I get the short end again. Carrier helicopters will drop our Type 80s into Area 2B. We'll meet up with the Griffin and push ahead to Area 3C. What's so special about Area C3? Ahead of it is the Ultra Fuel Plant. It's protected by a powerful electromagnetic shield. We'll meet up with Special Forces at Area 3C who can get us past the shield. I see. Alright kiddo, try not to slow me down too much. Don't get cocky just because you're a few years older. Sergeant Kid, don't forget she's always your superior officer. She's also your superior officer. Think of me as a big sister, who's also your boss. And don't forget that I have more experience than both of you put together. I settle down and switch on. Let's talk more rock. Hound Squadron to command. Now in strike position. On schedule. This is command. We copy Hound Squadron. Engage operation. Beginning assault operation. All gunhound units initiate drop. Alright. So we have our basic fire. We have a jump ability. And if you jump, you can also click and hold to hover. Using your left trigger, you can lock in where you're aiming, and that way you can effectively walk back and forth and shoot in that position. You can press right trigger to activate anti-aircraft mode, and you can see up at the top where it says mains, you get two shots, then it will reload but it does a significant amount of damage and it will lock on you can also shed some outer armor that your mech has if you need to go a little bit faster which will be a little more vulnerable if you do that and you can also speed up by pressing a button I'll show you this so you can kind of charge through kind of quickly. So you're fairly mobile. One thing I have noticed that with this, with the controls, it seems a little hard to get like that, your diagonal aiming just right where you want it. 
But this game again has some kind of awkward con controller configuration issues. It's a little rough around the edges. Alright, so we're going to switch to our anti-aircraft weapon. It's kind of odd to be shooting missiles in the ground like torpedoes. This guy needs to die already. There we go. I like to get up underneath these gun towers and shoot them. This is Banshee Squadron, LZ is hot, we are under fire. I like to jetpack over his beam. Oh no! <laughs> Watch out, he will shoot with a little shot on both sides of him. Ah, oh gosh. No good. Let's speed down here real quick. Get some distance between us. Hey, you just stay down there while I kill you. Guess he can't turn around. There we go. Anti-aircraft weapons good against shielded enemies. Banshee team, blow that EM barrier now. So you gotta wait for the soldiers to run up and blow it. You can head back. Pick up some health. C40 charges in place. Charges arm, get clear. It's like 40 times more powerful than C4. Alright, EM field down. All, all units move in. Count two, your top priority is securing the fuel. Count two, Roger, heading to the underground hangar. Count three, no need for further escort. Distract the enemy. Count three, cover me. Count three here? Yeah, yeah, I got you covered. Just gonna kind of hang out underneath them. Almost to the boss. Pound three, turn the griffin, turn the griffin guns around, and hold off the enemy reinforcements. Pound two, engage the enemy's main weapons. Mortar, mortar. This is Hound two. I sighted a strategic class enemy armor unit in the plant. Good, the neutron polymer should be nearby. Secure it. Alright. We're gonna zoom down towards the end of this level here. Watch out for the sky above, there'll be miss missiles dropping. Just try to do your best to dodge. Then get up under the boss here. Just out of this line of fire. And let loose. Missiles will fall through him, so watch out for that. Ah! Count two, your frame integ integrity is critical. We've almost got him! Sweet. 80,000 points. Mission clear. Hound two to hound leader. Reporting enemy strategic weapon destroyed. We've taken the underground plant. And I've got the neutron polymer. Hound 3 reporting. Enemy reinforcements are retreating. Good job, you two. Leave the rest to our cleanup detachment. Let's head home.
Hound 2, roger that. Returning to base. Alright, well thank you all for watching that first mission. And if you like this video, please like and subscribe, and hope to see you next time.